Hi there, this is Alana from Alana Lee Photography and I'm going to show you a few examples of images using texture overlays from the Photoshop texture overlay collection from the Imaginator Studio. So uh, our first example image is this fantasy image of a princess in a forest and I used some of the texture overlays in the collection to create this final image, which gives it more of kind of a, an ethereal glow and a little bit of a, a hint of vintage vibe in and around the image. Our next example is this wedding image of this beautiful couple. Uh, the image alone before editing is a little bit plain and simple and I added a paper texture overlay and um, and an additional overlay with a texture that allowed me to brighten the image slightly so you can see here there's this nice and subtle kind of canvas paper texture over the wedding image our next example is a simple portrait. Uh, could be a senior portrait uh, from prom or here at a beach. And I simply added a couple of textures here to give it more of kind of uh, an ethereal look. And I also cooled down the image a bit using the colors in the texture itself. Finally, we have this portrait here, kind of a, a glam uh, portrait, and it had a simple gray background in it. And I used a floral texture and colorized that floral texture to match the burgundy colors in her dress to create this floral background in the image. Let's look at this portrait example and see how I added the flower texture into the background. Our first step here is to isolate our subject from the background and create a layer mask so that we can separate her from our floral texture that will drop into the background. To do that, you just go to your subject selection tool here and you're going to select um, select subject and you can see Photoshop uses its AI technology to make a pretty good selection around our subject. We're next going to hit the select and mask button here in the top menu and that's going to bring up the uh, the window here where we can refine our mask if we need to. For example you can see here under her chin it um, maybe missed a little spot there um, to correct that, we can just use this little hand tool and it's basically telling Photoshop, hey, have a look at this, this section that I'm going to paint over and, and try again making a better selection here. So I'm just going to increase the brush size and just select there at the bottom of her chin where the hair is and you can see it's making a better selection there and we'll just go under the chin a little bit. Very good. We will use this option for our output, which is output to a new layer with a layer mask because it's the layer mask that we would like to use to mask our texture off of our subject. Simply press OK and that's going to create a layer mask to separate our subject out. We're going to turn our background layer back on and with our background layer selected, we're going to place our texture into our Photoshop layers panel here. To do so, the best way to do that is to go to File, select Place Embedded, and that's going to pull up your navigator window and you're going to navigate to the folder on your computer where you've saved your digital textures. Here I'm in my Floral Texture folder from the Imaginator Studio Collection and I'm going to select this one, Floral Texture number 9. Simply click it and then choose Place. And that's going to add your texture here into the, uh, the Layers panel for you. You can adjust the size of that texture by pulling your handles around it 
and you can drag it and place it wherever you like. Um, but I like what, what it's done with it automatically here. So I'm just going to press enter to save those changes. And then we're going to use blend modes to blend this texture seamlessly with our background. And different blend modes will create different effects depending on your image and the background texture. So in this case, we're going to choose soft light, which gives a nice subtle effect on a gray background. Next, we're going to colorize this background so that it will match the colors in her outfit a little bit better. To do this, I want to use my eyedropper tool here and select a color from the image I'd like to match. And I think we'll select this red from her lip. We get this nice red color selected. We'll create a solid color layer here. And it's going to create a solid color layer using that color we just selected. And we're going to change the blend mode of this color layer from normal to color. And as you can see, that colorizes our bottom layer here. To apply that just to our texture, we'll hover over the little line that divides our color fill layer with our texture. We'll press, press Alt on a PC or Option on a Mac and just toggle this line in between the two and that applies our color fill only to the layer directly below it, which is our texture. So you can see that here we've just taken that gray texture overlay and applied our red color to it. And there you have it. We've gone from our main image, which had a plain gray background, to our final image with the red enhanced texture layer in the background of our portrait image.